Hello everyone. Welcome to Military History Everywhere. The weather's turning warm. Finally got a little bit of time to make a video and got quite the treat for you today. Today what we are doing is a comparison between a World War I 1911. It's a remake by Cimarron Arms. Uh, it's the original 1911 model. Uh, it's got the, the flat main spring housing. Um, no indentation on the frame like the the a1 model and we also have an original if you see my other videos 1930 commercial mauser uh, so we're going to be doing a little bit of shooting uh, i got some of the holsters in the stock here uh, the 45 as you probably know comes in the 45 acp cartridge and this mauser it's original Caliber is 9mm Parabellum. They also came in 7.62 by 25mm, which was a lot more powerful of a cartridge. But this particular model is a 9mm. Uh, the 1911, its service life was from 1911 to about 1985, and there was roughly over 2 million uh, 1911s made uh, in its service life. And saw action from World War I. All the way up to the Gulf War. Uh, the Mauser, this pistol, currently I don't believe there's any remakes uh, being made on it. But its service life was from 1896 up to, I believe, like 19, middle 1930s. Um, and it roughly had a little over a million, from what I've read, over a million um about 1,100,000 copies uh, were made by Mauser and different affiliates. The Chinese made a 45 ACP version. And I think the Spanish also, Astra, if I'm not mistaken, made a copy of the, the C96. Both weapons are operate off a short recoil system. Um, some key differences, the Mauser. Uh, one of the downsides to it, if you see my earlier videos, is that the barrel was basically one piece with the upper receiver whereas with like the nine mil um, with the 45 acp there's a lot more replaceable parts on this gun i call these my great war guns um both of them were used uh i think 65,000 roughly 1911s were used in world war one world war two i'm not sure and the c96 mauser um even though it was never adopted as an official sidearm by any military, I believe, it was widely used and was a personal favorite of many famous historical figures like Winston Churchill. Um, other than that, I just wanted to show you both are beautiful guns, and we'll get them out here. I'll do the loading procedure and do some shooting. All right, first weapon we're going to shoot is the broom handle Mauser. It's clear. Um, this gun uses a stripper clip. The magazine's internal. Um, you just load that in like that. And then you push them rounds down. This, similar, this system is very similar to the Mauser rifle. Then once you pull that uh, stripper clip out, put the weapon on safe, and it's ready to fire. little rusty on the uh, the shooting with this. I haven't shot it for a while. But uh, overall, for being 100 years old almost, does pretty good. Right. Next up to bat is that World War One style 1911. Uh, you're probably familiar with how to load these. Just put that in there. Rack your slide forward, safe. See if I do a little bit better accuracy wise with this. Guess not, getting a little rusty over the winter time. No worry, 
Got another magazine to help me. Hey America, well I hope you enjoyed today's range time with two very amazing military weapons, I sure did. Uh, it was a lot of fun. I haven't had the uh, room handle miles around for a long time. It's an amazing shape for being almost 100 years old. And uh, I hadn't shot the World War I 1911 for quite some time either as you can probably tell from my target shooting but anyway uh if you like the channel please subscribe hit that click button i'm trying something different here uh i know my videos are sporadic that's just because of my work schooling and other responsibilities but what i'm trying to do is not just talk about history but show it and these two weapons are examples of that uh yeah the, the broom handle mauser uh, it's an amazing piece of engineering, really. And the 1911, very different weapons, um, different calibers, uh, different builds. Like I said, they're both short recoil. The biggest difference, I think, is the 1911. It was basically made for factory assembly, and that's one of the benefits of it. Any part can be replaced. Um, you know, if you need a new barrel, you can just switch it out. Broom handle Mauser's not like that. Everything's fine-tuned. Um, handcrafted, really. Uh, the barrel's one piece with the upper frame. Uh, which one's better? I would probably go with a 1911. But uh, they're both very good weapons in their own right. Both served in uh, both World Wars. And, um, yeah. Yeah. But I hope you enjoyed seeing them actually shooting. And I'm going to be making some more videos coming up. And I look forward to seeing you then. Thanks.